Welcome to the Grow in Christ series. Congratulations on your decision to follow Jesus. It is without a doubt the best decision that you'll ever make in your life. I'm Danny and the purpose of this series is to help you understand how to grow in your new relationship with Jesus. Let's begin by talking about and looking at the decision you made to follow Jesus. When you decided to place your faith in Jesus, what you really decided to do is to be his disciple. Now, a disciple simply means to be a follower. The term is actually used 261 times in the New Testament. Now, to put that in perspective, the word Christian is only used three times. Jesus' invitation to people in the New Testament was simple. Be my disciple, come and follow me. So a disciple is a follower. You could also use the word student or understudy or apprentice. In a very real sense, you and I have been followers our whole life. Uh, all of us have. We've been following ourselves, society, our parents, friends, coaches, teachers. As a disciple of Jesus, you've decided to follow him and him alone. Dallas Willard, one of my favorite authors, uh, described a disciple this way. A disciple is someone who's learning to live their life as Jesus did if he were me. This is the best decision that anyone can make because it leads to true joy, true peace, inner strength, freedom from anxiety, fear, anger, lust, what Jesus referred to as abundant life. It's drinking in the living water, it's eating the bread of life. But it's also the hardest thing you'll ever do because it requires the hardest decision you'll ever make. If you wanna be a disciple of Jesus, you must die to yourself. In Mark chapter 8, verse 34, Jesus put it like this, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. What does this actually mean? Well, we're all wired to follow ourselves, our wants, our desires. We want things our way. In order to follow Jesus, we have to give that up. We must actually decide to do the opposite. We must deny ourselves. We must surrender having our own way and choose the way of Jesus. I love the way Dietrich Bonhoeffer describes it in his book, The Cost of Discipleship. He said, when Christ calls a man, he bids him to come and die. The key decision we have to make as disciples is to surrender our will to God's will. This means in all areas of our life, our mind, our relationships, our sexuality, our time, our relationship with money, our jobs, every aspect of our life. It's only then that we are in this uh, surrendered posture where we can obey all the things that Jesus said to do. This is what will lead us to true, lasting, and satisfying life. To sum it up, when you placed your faith in Jesus, you decided to be a disciple. A disciple is a follower. And in order to follow, you must surrender. And this is what will lead us to abundant life, the abundant life that Jesus has planned for us.